So who you are is perfect You don't even need to try To try to fit the mold Or even do what they told you to do When they auditioned me on the day um, it was in front of a crowd of a couple of thousand people and then before the judges made a decision um, they came up to me and said look you know we, we can't let you win and I'm like oh why is that well you don't need it you don't need this opportunity there are other people that you know don't have the connections that you have and you want to be able to do your own thing and you want to be able to you know get things off of your own back and to always be told you know, it's fine. You, you, just because of who you are, you, you, you'll be fine. Don't, don't worry about it. So I'm not here to be around for a single or, or one album. I, I really want to be in this industry for the rest of my life. And, um, and even beyond, beyond music, I want to be doing a lot of other things. And I, I won't do that unless I can stand on my own two feet. Just be you. Obviously because of who my brother is, I've, I've got to overcome a few few things and that's taken years. I didn't want people to think that I was just coming out to be Guy's brother and I wanted to really prove myself as an act and um, in order to do that I needed to work and um, that's what I've been doing. I've just been working. I was told for a really long time that R&B would never work in Australia. Um, I remember growing up and everybody saying, you know, this isn't going to work. I mean, that was a really hard thing growing up because so I, I was always I had this perception that, you know, oh, what am I going to do musically? I can't really do what I love. I was actually talking to Guy about it and um, he ended up saying, look, if you love it, you just got to try it. You, you got to do it. Funny enough, I mean, I, I, left that, I left that conversation going, all right. And that's what I'm going to do. I went back to Melbourne and I started started writing, started recording. And that was probably the toughest moment, you know, like just deciding whether I'm going to go the way that I love or am I, or am I going to not sell out but sort of change my sound. And I'm so happy that I, you know, that I chose to stay true to what I wanted to do because now I'm doing it. Music for me is such a universal language. When there are no words, music talks. Music's an escape. Music's you know, music's a feeling. Music is such a powerful thing, it connects people in a way that I think nobody, nothing else could. As far as dreams go, I don't think, <laughs> I don't think my brain can handle all of them yet. Um, but we'll get to them. At the moment, Australia represents 2% of the world music market. My dream is to make that a hell of a lot bigger. And I don't plan to do that by myself. And there's a lot of amazing Australian artists that I think can do that. And, um, I look forward to it. It's my dream. It's my dream. It's my dream.